Mastering the Future, Passive Voice with Will. Hello language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into an exciting aspect of English language learning. Using the passive voice with the modal verb, will, for future actions. This is an essential part of intermediate English grammar that can truly elevate your language skills. Remember, the key to mastering English is practice. Passive voice with will is not as complicated as it may initially seem. Let's first understand the structure. We use will be followed by the past participle of the verb. For example, if we want to say that a book will be read by someone in the future, we can say, the book will be read. Here, will be, is used with the past participle, read. When we want to talk about future actions in passive voice, we often use, will. The primary focus of such sentences is the action that is going to happen, rather than the doer of the action. Here are some examples. The report will be completed by tomorrow. The cake will be baked for the party. The room will be cleaned before the guests arrive. In each case, the emphasis is on the action that will take place in the future, rather than on who will do it. In addition to positive statements, will and passive voice is also used to form questions and negative statements. For questions, simply place will at the start of the sentence. For example, will the report be completed by tomorrow? For negative statements, add not after will. For example, the room will not be cleaned before the guests arrive. That wraps up our exploration of using the passive voice with will for future actions. Remember, using the passive voice correctly can make your English more varied and nuanced. So keep practicing, keep experimenting, and you will be mastering this in no time. Until our next lesson, happy learning!